Hey guys, it's Allie of 6336 again, and I'm going to be doing another review on the traditional T.S. Black tie affair. Okay, so I got him, um, again, for my birthday, um, out in this little, like, I guess, ranch and home supply store called Jack's, J-A-X, out in either Fort Collins or Littleton, Colorado. Um, that is not where I live, so please don't, like, try and stalk me, trust me. I don't live there. Um, so, it's this really cute little store, and they have these rows and rows of, well, I mean, not rows and rows, but, like, it's a really, really big row and a bunch of shelves filled with briars of, like, all the new ones and the old ones. I was in heaven. I did not want to leave. So, um, that's how I got him. He was the last one. And I'm going, I made him a mare, and, um, that is because I have a horse at my barn, not, not my barn, um, a friend's barn, who I ride, and I'm really the only one that rides her, named Rain, and she is a black and white pinto. Um, she's not an Arabian, but she is a Mustang paint Arabian, and this mold is a must, as, oh my gosh, an Arabian pinto. And everybody says, and this is true, that when I really get Rain moving, she does kind of look like an Arabian. So, there's that. Um, so, now, her name is Rain, or Rainy Day, because that's what we call her all the time. So, um, now for the actual review part. Um, so, my last two briars that I've gotten, um, T.S. Black Tie Affair, and I just did a review on Baloo. I forgot to mention in Baloo's, his box was broken and looked like it was open almost, but not completely, so I don't know. T.S. Black Tie Affair, on the other hand, his box had no tape on it and was almost destroyed, like somebody had opened it. But he's in great condition, so I think somebody may have opened him, didn't really like him, and decided to put him back and return him. Um... Is that something I swear is in my hair, or that's just my hair? Um, so that kind of scared me when I got him, since he was the only one. So I was really confused, and I was like, oh my god, somebody took him out and, like, destroyed him or something. I was totally afraid that he would have been messed up on the, um, on the side that faces the box. Obviously, this is not that side, because it is in, like, perfect condition. He was in amazing condition for a box that has been opened. Um... Let's see. He does not have any, like, major rubs anywhere, but you probably can't see these. There is one right here that's, like, a white spot. Oh, yeah, you can kind of see it right there. Um, His nose, I mean, on his muzzle where it's pink, there's this, that dark line. It's not, like, just from shading or whatever, or, like, it does not look dark. Um, there is actually, like, a black mark in there. Sorry if you could see my face a minute ago. I am not the most beautiful. <laughs> um, so there's that. Sorry, I keep looking at him because I can't see very well. He has a rub. It's very, very slight. I keep going the wrong way. Right there, you can't see it, though. Oh, well. So that side is in extremely good condition. It's the box side that really scared me, though. Um... Let's see. They did a little bit of over spray right there on his mane, and that kind of drove me insane. Um, he's got a rub right there, which you can't see. Also, that that's nice. And right here, I didn't know if that was like oh, I keep going the wrong way, a scratch or something, and it really scared the crap out of me. Um. But we're good. I'm just thinking that was just like a normal rub. Um, his tail is gorgeous. I am in love with his tail. What I love about paint is my horse. Her mane is like half black. It's black up to here and then white the rest of the way down. But the black and white kind of mixes in the middle. I love that because when I braid her mane, it turns into like this beautiful gray like the tail. I love that. But if the mane and the tail were, like, switched in colors, it would be perfect. Because her tail, you know, I mean, her mane is black and white and her tail is white. Okay, I need to stop rambling. So, 
he has really good confirmation, and a lot of people say that they, that theirs can't stand very well. Um, it is true, but mine, he actually stands okay. It, I mean, on a good day, he'll stand really well. Um, and then, if you've noticed, the detailing on his hooves are amazing. But, let's go over to the side that was on the box. Let's see. Um, almost no detail. Detail. No detail. No detail. I don't know what that's about. Um, personally, I think Briar could have done a better job. I don't know if they just forgot to do that side of the hooves or what. But, I'm going to move my camera down because I don't want you to see my not-so-gorgeous face. Um... I, I just don't know what to do. I mean, my mom, personally, she thought this was a rub under his neck. But, I mean, my horse, she also has a mark like this under her neck. Um, it's just, it's just another marking. Don't be afraid, because, I mean, it does look like a, like a massive rub or something. Or like somebody had chipped the paint away. It's not, I've looked at pictures of him, that is an actual marking. Don't worry about it, don't be afraid of that or anything. Um, so, I'm going to see, let's see, if you hear, like, this weird plastic clomping noise, that would be him on my computer. So, the stand is extremely uneven, as you can see from just right here. It, it, he is moving when I set him down. That is because of only about this back side of the, of the stand hits the ground. This whole section up here is about that far from the ground and it bugs me I am so scared that he's gonna fall over you can you'll be able to see a little bit of him let's see when I set him on the carpet falls right over so you kinda gotta jam part of his stand into the carpet voila he stands it just takes a little bit of effort don't try and jam his back hoof into the carpet I've tried to do that before it does not help. His stand is where he needs it. So the side that he falls on, like he falls on this side that way. So the opposite side, jam that, not jam, but you know, take that part of the stand and put it, sorry, I use my hands a lot, put that into the carpet. And I mean, he stands really well. But if I just like took him, set him down, He falls. That's why you gotta take him, kinda angle him, rub it into the carpet, and he stands perfectly fine. So, there's that. Thank you for watching. I think he's an all around amazing briar to have in your barn. Um, I just adore him. I would have, he's great, I guess you could say, for dressage pic pictures. That's probably what he'll be best for. Um, maybe a dressage horse in your barn. I'm going to have him as a dressage and jumping horse. So, yeah. Alright, well, thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and know me in comments. Bye. Love you guys.